Hello, I'm Kathy from Above and Beyond Creative Sewing. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that this video finds everybody well and healthy. So I'm also hoping that everybody is keeping busy during these times. Um, I myself have been uh, trying to practice my free motion quilting, which is what I'm gonna go over with everybody today. So I have, I know everybody has lots of fabric in their stash. So a good way to go through that stash is to make little baby quilts. They don't really take that long. You can certainly sew one in an afternoon and then it's a great way to practice free motion quilting. So today I'm gonna to be using my Baby Lock Coronet. This machine is really awesome. You move the handlebars as opposed to moving the fabric, which is easier for me. Um, this machine comes on a five foot frame, so it's not super big. You can put it on casters or not. And it also has a stitch regulator and it's really super easy to use. So again, baby quilts. Um, we also have these um, battings at at the store. So they're crib size, 45 by 60, and they work perfectly on a, on a baby quilt on this machine. So you can see I have it draped. It's the perfect size, okay? And also I'm using the Madeira Quilters Thread, which I absolutely love for machine quilting. So this is awesome too. And we also have these at the store, okay? So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna pick a pattern that I'm a little bit, um, uh, that I try to, I'm gonna try to do a little bit better at rather. When you start, you're gonna wanna put a little bit of um, practice fabric on the side here so that you can adjust your tension before you quilt on the real thing. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit my start button. I'm gonna make a pass down and I'm gonna come back on the other side. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I'm just gonna hold that there so my foot doesn't get caught. Okay, so I like to do loops to sew on. I'm going to try to do some flower patterns as well. On this one. Okay, so for anybody who has wanted to try free motion quilting, this machine is really a lot of fun to get you started. And don't forget, we also offer the uh, language of free motion quilting class at the store. So it's been very successful. We have run it a couple of times. It's really an awesome class. It's a lot of fun. You do get to rotate between different machines. So you're not only using a long arm, you're also using um, some domestic machines that we have set up that you can try out as well. Okay. Maybe do a little meandering along the way as well. You can really do whatever you want to do. Nobody's going to judge. It's just uh, whatever you feel, whatever comes to your mind, you're just kind of creating it on your quilt like, like a drawing almost. Okay, so I just sewed right off the side, off the edge. I'm going to hold my fabric so my foot doesn't get caught. And now I'm just going to go back the other way. Simple. I know a lot of you are probably thinking, oh my God, she makes it look so easy. But you know what? It really is easy. It's really easy. It's really fun. And it's also very addicting. This is my third quilt that I've quilted on this machine in two days. So lots and lots of fun. And I do love making baby quilts. Little people are my favorite people to sew for. All right, I'm just gonna come right off the edge here. Okay, and then I'm just gonna hit stop. So like I said, we do offer the free motion quilting as a class at the store. And then after I'm done with all these quilts, guess what I'm gonna be doing? Binding. So don't forget, I do binding now in a serger. It is so much faster than tacking it down by hand. I also do, we also have a serger binding class that we offer at the store, so look for that. If you'd like me to do another serger binding tutorial, just let us know. I'd be happy to do that as well. So I hope that you learned something today or at least enjoyed my video. Thank you so much for joining me. Everybody stay safe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.